Okay, so here's the, uh, the OBD simulator running. You can adjust engine RPM and all these other things. And then in Visual Studio, we have a WinForm app, and it has everything you need to do the OBD part. So we'll just run it and get rid of that. Bring that back down here. And so first thing you do is you open a port. And remember the virtual ports. So this is COM9 and the OBD is in COM8. And these are the AT commands. So if I go uh, ATI, then it identifies if this was a car or if it was a, a different scanner, it would just identify who it is. Uh, ATDP says the type of CAN bus, it's 11 bit, 250 kilobit, that sort of thing. So you can do the AT commands, send, and this is the receive window. And when you open a port, you can get the status, it's COM9, 9600 baud. Um, yeah, and then we just turn the sample on and off. What this does is it makes the requests and then gets the data back. So then as we adjust engine RPM and throttle position, engine temperature and here you can see the the queries 28 queries samples per second that sort of thing so it's communicating with the simulator uh, vehicle speed zoom and uh, yeah so it just communicates back and forth so then if I were to go 010C enter oh yeah go away um, 010 zero, C. Zero, it gives me two the two hex digits, and there's a, that PID XLS. It shows you how to calculate, multiply, and of course this is in hex, convert it to decimal. Multiply that by 256 and add whatever this is in decimal, and that gives you your engine RPM. So then, as we move the engine RPM down, and we do it again. 010C. Zero, zero, 0B is less than 2E, so the engine RPM goes down. And that's the way you do all of it. You, you request data, and then it comes back, and then you convert the hex, des hex to, uh, to decimal, and you can display it. And that's pretty much the extent of the OBD communication. So it goes out the serial port to the car's network, um, makes a request, comes back to the uh, to the scan tool and then through the serial port and you get your information so it's kind of a two-step communication process and that's about it